Hello everyone, my name is Sandra Karanting and I am a quality assurance engineer here at Minecraft. And today I want to speak to you about the importance of making your websites accessible. But first, what is accessibility? Accessibility is ensuring that a user with a disability or impairment can access commodities the same way that someone without a disability or impairment can. What's a disability? A disability can be considered an impairment that affects how the person interacts with the world around them. This could be a motor impairment, a cognitive impairment, like the way they think, a visual impairment or, or a hearing impairment. To ensure that people with disabilities can access commodities in the same way, the Americans with Disability Act of 1990 was created. And this simply prohibits discrimination against a person with a disability or disabilities. Within that is Section 508. And that ensures that government agencies make their electronic information accessible to a person with a disability. To achieve compliance, we use Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, commonly referred to as WCAG. The current version is 2.1. And there are three levels of compliance. A being the lowest level of compliance, and triple A being the highest level of compliance. Government agencies and companies usually aim for double A. So I want to talk about some of the criteria that could affect a person with disabilities. Motor. The largest impairment group is motor. That is someone who may suffer from a motor impairment or can't like use their hands. And so with that, you want to make sure that everything on your site is accessible via the keyboard. The second largest impairment in America is cognitive, which affects how the person thinks, interacts, maybe social relationships. Something that is interesting, a criteria that's interesting that affects the cognitive, um, impa cognitively impaired person is three flashes or below. And what this criteria says is that if there is a element that you interact with on your site that is flashy, it cannot flash more than three times in a second. So in this instance, someone who may suffer from epileptic seizures will be severely affected by that flashy component and can't interact with your website, which is, which we don't want, right? And another criteria that affects the cognitively impaired is sensory characteristics. If there's an element on the page or a symbol, such as the down arrow, you want to make sure that you have a label or a tooltip providing what that symbol means. But you do want to make it accessible because you may find that there is a person with a disability that actually has more than one disability. They may suffer from motor and cognitive impairments. And so they would need to be able to access that element with the keyboard. Accessibility is really important because it promotes inclusivity, equal opportunity, and just makes your website better overall. There's so much that goes into testing and developing accessible websites, but for now, I'm gonna leave you with these resources. ada.gov, webaim.org, wcag.com, and w3.org. Stay tuned for more information from Minecraft about accessibility. Talk to you later.